The AMX-40 cavalry tank was a French armored weapon developed during World War II. Although no physical specimens have survived, it has gained some recognition through the Internet. Its unique design has been jokingly referred to as the Little Duck by online users. In reality, the AMX-40 cavalry tank is considered a superior creation and would have been a formidable vehicle if it had been mass-produced. In 1939, General Martin of France visited England and was impressed by their modern cruiser tanks. However, as a land power, France could not possibly purchase finished products from England. Therefore, they decided to develop their own cavalry tank, which became the AMX-40. The development work began in March 1940, shortly after the start of World War II. It was intended to replace the S-35 and S-40 tanks, so there was some continuity in the design, but many new ideas and technologies were incorporated. The overall structure of the tank's chassis was based on the S-35 tank with similar power components and layout. It even used the same 160-horsepower diesel engine, although there was a project underway to develop a 220-horsepower engine, which was likely the final power solution. There were significant changes in the transmission and suspension structure of the tank. The designer adopted Christie suspension, which seemed to be the first time France used this structure. There were four pairs of road wheels, with the drive wheels at the rear and the idler wheels at the front. The tank's side armor covered a large area, almost enclosing the upper half of the road wheels. Surprisingly, the AMX-40 cavalry tank had a similar feature to the BT fast tank. It could also remove its tracks and travel directly on the road wheels. At this time, the driver needed to switch the power from the drive wheels to the last pair of road wheels by rotating the first pair of road wheels to adjust the direction of travel. Armor protection was another distinctive feature of the AMX-40. The tank had a rounded shape with no right angles, which was different from the sloped armor of the T-34, but had a similar effect of increasing the chance of deflection and effectively increasing the armor thickness. To maintain the integrity of the armor, the designer was reluctant to create too many openings for periscopes, hatches, and other structures. An additional raised structure was added above the driver's compartment to accommodate periscopes and hatches. The same was done for the main turret, and even the tank commander's observation was limited to a single 360-degree periscope on the top, which somewhat affected the internal visibility. In terms of firepower, the AMX-40 had decent armament for the early stages of World War II. Its main weapon was a 40 fee 7 mm SA-35 gun, with 176 rounds of ammunition stored inside the tank. It also had a coaxial machine gun and an anti-aircraft machine gun mounted near the engine compartment, with the barrels pointing upwards. Both machine guns were 7.5 military caliber. However, the placement of the anti-aircraft machine gun was indeed awkward, and it is unclear how it would be operated. Its effectiveness in anti-aircraft defense might be questionable. The tank was expected to weigh between 16 to 18 tons, with a length of 5.33 meters, width of 245 meters, and height of 2.37 meters. Its maximum speed was only about 20 kilometers per hour. The thickest frontal armor protection was about 60 millimeters on the turret, while the front of the hull had armor thickness ranging from 40 to 50 meters. The side armor was slightly weaker than the frontal armor. Additionally, there was 15 millimeter armor plate covering the outer side of the suspension. The crew remained a three-person team, consisting of a tank commander, driver, and loader. The tank commander had to handle a series of tasks, including commanding, target acquisition, adjusting artillery attacks, and communication. This was quite typical of the French style, where the tank commander had a lot of responsibilities. The designers had also planned to install radio equipment, but it was never implemented. The development of the AMX-40 began during the outbreak of World War II, and two months later, the Battle of France broke out. The overall situation in France became tense, which severely affected the development of weapons and equipment. In July, France surrendered, and the development work was completely halted. The tank never made it to the prototype stage and only existed in blueprints. 
Based on French technology, if given more time, it could have been successfully put into production. If the German army had encountered these tanks on the battlefield, they would have likely faced significant challenges.